Hello everyone, it's Tony. Now we have done quite a few pieces for this wedding series, but mainly for the reception. Now I've also gotten requests for helping with decorating inside the church for the ceremony itself. Octavius wrote me for help with decorating the ceremony and the reception with a budget of $300. So I wanna show you how you can make some low budget, beautiful hanging items that you can decorate with using all dollar store pieces. For this project, I'm making a chandelier using beaded necklaces. You can get beaded necklaces from Dollar Tree or from Walmart. They come in sets of eight and for my chandelier, I'm using 16 necklaces, all silver. From Dollar Tree, I got this hanging wire plant basket, a bag of clear marbles, or you could use clear acrylic gems. From the hardware section at Dollar Tree, I'm using this utility wire, and less than one roll of diamond wrap ribbon. I'm also using wire cutting scissors and needle nose pliers. Now on each of the necklaces, it looks like they glued two beads together to close the necklace. You wanna find those two beads and cut them off. Because when the beads are hanging from a distance, the two beads together will look like a black spot. And you don't want that. You want your beads to be nice and consistent. Next, I'm folding the necklace so that one end is about an inch longer than the other end. Then I'm cutting a piece of wire about three to four inches. And I'm gonna twist tie it close between the two top beads. I'm using the wire to attach the beads to the basket. I'm placing the bead at each of the vertical wires. You wanna make sure you wrap the wire around the vertical and the horizontal bars. You can use the needle nose pliers to twist the ends and then cut off the excess. For each bead, position it so that one half is on the inside of the basket and one half is on the outside. Now I'm gonna thread necklaces through the hanging chains. For this, you wanna wrap a piece of wire around the very end of the necklace and twist tie the wire straight up. Pull the necklace through the hook until the tip of the necklace reaches the top of the chain. Then hold the beads in place by the hook and then weave the beads in through every other chain link. Then wrap the wire around the last link. For the other part of the bead that's hanging from the chain, I'm going to attach it to the end of that same vertical pole right at the bottom of the basket. I want the beads to fall parallel to the pole so that it makes a, a nice little basket loop and have the bottom part of those beads just fall underneath in the center. Now I want to make what looks like crystals hanging from each piece. Now you could do this two ways. Since the clear acrylic crystals are very light, you can use hot glue and glue the crystal at the very tip of the bead. By putting a drop of hot glue on the tip of the bead and holding the gem in place for about 30 seconds. Or you could use a clear marble, which I like the look of better. Since the marble is heavier, I'm gonna show you a quick way to wrap it and wire so that you can attach it to the bead. So you're gonna cut a piece of wire about eight to 10 inches. Then you're gonna place the marble in the center of the wire and press and mold the wire around the center of the marble. I wanna make sure that the wire is flat and snug against the marble. Then I'm gonna hold down the sides while I twist the wire just once so that it'll look like a cross when it's facing me. 
Then I'm going to press those pieces down snug against the marble up to the top as I twist the end while holding the pieces in place. Twist the wire all the way up to the top and then snip off the end so that the wire is even. Next I'm going to attach my wrap crystal ball to the beads by wrapping the wire around twice in between three of the beads. Then I'm using my needle nose pliers to curl the ends in and then press them in. Then I'm going to bend the wire a little so that it hangs straight. So I added my homemade crystals to the end of each hanging necklace. In the center at the bottom of the basket I have three beads that are hanging a little bit short. I'm going to hang three more necklaces across the remaining bars that will hang lower or longer than the first three. So far I've used 15 necklaces of the two packs of eight that I've gotten. So with my last necklace I'm going to cut this in half. Then I'm going to gather up my center beads about four inches down and I'm going to use that half necklace to wrap around those gathered pieces. I'm going to make sure all the beads are placed well and it hangs the way I want it. Then I'm going to hot glue the necklace at the top and the bottom to the gathered beads to keep them in place. Next I'm going to use the hot glue to stagger my crystals around at different heights. I'm going to start by looping one of the shorter pieces around the top bar of the basket near the left hanging piece. I want the crystal to fall in between the left hanging piece and the loop. I'm letting the left hanging piece hang and then I'm taking the other piece next to that and I'm going to loop that over and near the next hanging piece. But, but this time I'm going to let that crystal hang lower below the loop. So I'm going to loop this all the way around alternating high and low hanging crystals. To stagger even more crystals and to make sort of a chandelier net, I'm looping the remaining longer hanging pieces to the loops on the right. I'm going to press the two beads together at the center of the loop to snap the beads into place and twist it. To finish this off, I'm hot gluing a little diamond wrap around the top. And now I have a nice little beautiful chandelier. So these could be made for five to seven dollars and you can hang them in your church, in the receptions, or you could use them as a centerpiece topper. If you click on the link in the top right, you can see how I made this very tall blingy vase for a few dollars. But as an idea, you can fill your tall cylinder up with beads or crystals and then place your chandelier on top and let the long ends go into the cylinder and the chain fall down into the cylinder. Then you could add a bowl or a ball of flowers and make a really beautiful and dramatic centerpiece. This pretty little chandelier can be used almost anywhere. I'm using it to add a little glamour to my closet. Now another thing you can do instead of buying the dollar store beads 
is go online. There are event stores where you can buy pendants and beaded garland. There's garland made out of acrylic and real crystals. And if you buy in bulk, it could be very cost efficient for your event or your wedding. I just ordered a few inexpensive pieces from Shop Wild Things. Hopefully I'll get it next week and I can use it to create another one of your wedding requests. Guess what guys, I have some exciting news. I have my own brand of craft paints. It's called Your House of Home Metallic Multi-Surface Acrylic Paint. It's the paint I use for most of my beautiful home projects. It comes in a set of eight metallic colors, including red, blue, and yellow for mixing. There's even a mixing chart on the side of the box that you can use to mix your own custom colors. You can use it to paint on almost any surface. It's great for indoor and outdoor use, and it could be cured in the oven to make a dishwasher safe. You can go to Amazon now and get this at a great introductory cost that includes shipping. Or click on the link in my description tab, and we can start creating some beautiful home projects together.